it's Jamie here with Dabbles and Babbles. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful star stitch. As you can see, the star stitch has this just beautiful design to it, like a star or sunburst. And um, it's very versatile. You can use it for a lot of things. Uh, it's I wouldn't say this is a beginner stitch, but it's not really that hard to get the hang of it. There's really only one really tricky section. And once you get that figured out, then you'll be fine. So without further ado, let's get started. And the sample that we're using um, is Cascade Yarns and it's the Cascade 220 Heathers. And this is just a gorgeous, like luxurious type of yarn. Um, and it's a worsted weight yarn. The first thing we're going to do is start our chain and we're going to do this in multiples of two plus two. Make your slip knot and start your chain. So I'm just going to do a smaller chain to get started. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sorry, pull some more yarn up here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, plus two, one, two. So here's our chain. And so we're starting off with 18 stitches. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So this doesn't count as a chain. So this is our first chain right here. And then we're going to go into our second chain. So we are going to put the hook through the chain. We are going to yarn over, pull through. And this is the thing with a star stitch. You don't complete your stitches until the, you've got six stitches on the loop. So we're just going to carry on and get six stitches. So we've got one, two. We're going to the next chain. Three. Going to the next chain. Four. Going to the next chain. Five. Going to the next chain. Six. So now we have six chains on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through oops it's a little bit finicky at the beginning here pull through all six and you'll see this makes this beautiful little clump and then we are going to do one slip stitch and this is the first part of our starburst all right so this is probably where it gets a little trickier but it's not hard it's just learning the steps that you need to take. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to do our um, first stitch inside the little hole in our starburst. Okay, so we're going to push the, through the stitch, yarn over, pull through. We have now have two loops on our hook. Now, next, we are going to go between this post and the second post. And we're going to go in between there. So we are going to go through the posts, yarn over, pull back. So you have three on the loop. Now, next you're going to go into this loop right here, which is kind of at the bottom of your star stitch. So we're going to go in, yarn over, pull through. We have four. And then, because we need to always have six loops on our hook, we're going to go into the next chain for five and the next chain for six. Okay. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops, yarn over with a slip stitch. And there we have our second. And we're going to carry on like this through the whole row until the end. So let me do it one more time so that you understand. We're going to go through the center of the star first. Then we're going to go between the first and second posts. 
Then we're going to go into this stitch, which is the start of our star. And then we're going to go through the next two chains. One and two. And then we're going to pull through all six loops on the hook, slip stitch. Then this is slip stitches kind of just seals all the stitches together. All right. So we're just going to carry on with the rest of the with the rest of the row in a similar format. And like most crochet projects, the first row is always the most challenging because it's you don't really have much to grip onto when you're starting out. Okay, we've reached the end of our row now and to finish off the row you always want to end with a half double crochet and you're going to half double crochet into this um, last chain where we did our last um, loop. So yarn over, go into the loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three and this is start of your chain so you want to tighten that up a little bit. All right so that let's see if you can see see the beginning and you'll find with this stitch it does tend to curl at first until you get going. So let's see can you see that okay? Um, all right let's start our row two. Row two is pretty easy. First thing you want to do is chain one then we're gonna flip it over and our first stitch goes into um, our last our half double crochet right there so you're gonna go in yarn over you have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through okay and then the next stitch is going to go into the hole of our star stitch Okay, we're going to do a single crochet in here. Okay, and then next, if you look, you can see the holes. See the holes that we've made. And we are going to go in for all the way down this row, we're going to do two single crochets into the center of the star all the way across the row. So, so we've got just one in the first one because we did our first stitch in the half double crochet, but for everything else, we're going to go two. So one, two, one, two. One, Okay, and this is our last center of a star stitch that we're going into with our two single crochets. There we go, that looks great. Okay, so this last move, maneuver, that we need to do is do a slip stitch in this final chain. So you'll see there's the stitch right there and at the top of that stitch. There's this little loop, pull through, and it's a slip stitch, so pull through both. All right, so this is the back right here of that row and I'll turn it over so you can see now that we have the complete star and it's starting to take a little bit of shape. All right, so let's get back to uh, how we start the next row. Now at the beginning of the video I told you that this stitch isn't necessarily a beginner stitch. This, there's a few little complicated spots and this to me is the most challenging 
of the um, entire pattern. But once you get it, it's not like it's hard to understand. It's just a little finicky and kind of drives me crazy getting it. But So what we're going to do is do one chain and then two chain. And then we're going to turn it around. Okay. So I'm going to try and explain what we're going to do. We are going to go into the second chain from the hook. So not this one. Let me see, am I in focus here? Not this one, but this one right here. And we are first going to go into the front loop and then we're gonna go over here into the back loop. And the back loop is particularly tricky. So um, just take it easy, be easy on yourself. It's, it's not that it's hard, it's just kind of awkward to reach. So we're gonna start with our first stitch. We're gonna go into the first loop Okay, and we're going to yarn over and pull through so we have two loops on the hook. Okay, so this is where the challenging part is because what happens is this stitch kind of twists around. There's the loop we're after, but it's kind of awkward to get at. And even I've done this so many times and it's still awkward for me. So that's the loop that we want to go into. There we go. Yarn over and pull through. So now we have three loops on the hook, and then we're gonna go into our first stitch here. Oops. So we have four loops on the hook, into our next stitch, five, into our next stitch, six. Okay, we yarn over and pull through all six loops. And then we're going to do our slip stitch to tie everything together. Okay, ready? So now that we've done that initial one that's a little bit different, we're going to just revert back to what we were doing in row one. So we are going to go into the center of the star stitch, yarn over and pull through. Then we're going to go between the first and the second post, yarn over, pull through go into the last stitch of our star stitch that's four and into the next two stitches five and six and pull through all six yarn over and slip stitch so you can see that is how we carry on now we'll just Keep doing this exact same um, number of steps here across the row. And when we're done, we go to row two, which is a repeat of the, um, basically the two single crochets into the center of the star stitch. So let's finish this row off. Okay, so we've got to the end of the row, and at the end of the row that has the, you know, big star stitch formation, we want to make sure that we always end in a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, and pull through all three. And then to start our next row, right, because it's the bottom part of the star stitch you can see here, this, there's the bottom and then there's the top. So it kind of makes the star more complete. We're going to yarn over, chain one. We're going to turn over and go into the eight half double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Then one single crochet into the center of the star. And then for the rest of the row, we carry on with two. And at the end, we go through that last loop and do a slip stitch through both. 
All right, so that's the back. And then this is what the front looks like. Let's see, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I wanna show you quickly um, one of the blankets that I'm working on right now so you can really see how beautiful this stitch is. That particular yarn that I'm using for the baby blanket that I'm working on is really beautiful and defines the stitch um, really well. So just uh, bear with me, I'll be right back to grab it. All right, so here's the baby blanket that I've been working on and I just love it. I just adore this texture and pattern that the star stitch makes. Um, and in fact, the, the back is very different, but it's really pretty too. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really neat when you change colors, how it makes like a little stripey line. I really like that. Um, and this yarn is fantastic for, you know, really displaying the star stitch. Anyways, um, this pattern will be available on my website, uh, Dabbles and Babbles, shortly. So please take a look at that. Also, when you buy the pattern online, you'll also get a video that will explain to you how to change colors when using the star stitch because it's not complicated, but you need to know when to do it. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.